Okay guys, finally type 2 V recording and horizon fully. And it's 10 kilohertz and it's 400 gigahertz. Root cause, okay? First of all, a brown pot here, never turn it. Someone did turn it, so I had to adjust it to get the rice head in the resonance. And now it's rice properly, okay? Second piece, like uh, the levels were off between left and right channels. Back tension was off, so there is a screw on the back here. Uh, just above. Let me let me see, so you will see the one in the middle on the white part. Okay. I don't see it from here. Okay, so it's it's it sits on the on the shaft together with the left uh, reel, okay? And that's where you have to adjust proper tension. So it will get proper recording levels, okay? Good. Let me try play more with it. If it will record and play it nice now. Thank you, see you, bye-bye. Well, guys, I finally give up. Uh, pull out the hat and fully lap to make it flat, nice, clean, and now everything works. So here is the levels, zeros, here is the bias. So we need to match highs and lows, and I can add bias and you see reduce low frequencies or reduce bias and increase high frequencies. Now it's work, you see? That was the reason. So the hat was worn and didn't work properly. Oi, woohoo. Now I will test the rest of the tape types and close it. See you, bye bye. Now guys, any tape type works well, so see. It's a Sony tape, and it's uh, usually require under biasing. So it's uh, I put it uh, in the middles, as I said on TDKD90. So levels big, as we have seen all all my decks. Now we're reducing levels. Okay, and bias. See, I can add bias and reduce high frequencies. Oh, I may reduce bias and add high frequencies, so it will record well. Now everything works. Good, now I will record music, test it, and close it. I just tested the chrome tape, and it works pretty fine as well. So with different settings, so now calibrator works, so let's put everything in the middle. Start recording. So that's the levels. One channel, it's not balanced. And here is a bias for this tape. Well, probably I need to find a different spot on this tape. It just was working. For, oh, different tape type. <laughs> Sorry. I remember it was working properly. So here we go. Now we get levels back. Okay. Uh, I see they're the same. And now bias. So I, anyone can add a little bit bias to compensate for this tape. Or here we will decrease the amount of high frequencies. And here will be the proper value, you see. Here we have recording more high frequencies and we can do a little bit more. Okay. So that's that's the position. So one segment should be lighted above the low frequencies. That's how it should work and it's uh, exactly described in the owner's manual, on the service manual, how to do it. 
Hi, hope you liked. Uh -huh. Fix it. Hey guys, uh, here would be conclusion. So, source, tape, metal tape, records, perfect. A uh, couple more thoughts. Let me tell you what I did and like what tricky moments I met during tuning this deck. So if you will have similar problems, so you would be able to overcome it. Uh, problem number one, tape pass. It was bad, head was tilted in significantly, that gets grooves on the head, uh, which uh, did additional problems. Okay, uh, left supply side tension was not enough. So high frequencies were significantly uh, changing amplitude. I added a little bit and now it works smoothly. Uh, next, bias generator. I rebuilt, probably it was not necessary, but it was a way to find it. So the red coil is a bias frequency. Uh, brown coil is a arise head resonance frequency. If it's off, it would not arise. It may arise like normal tape. It would not arise uh, any chrome or metal tapes. Um, next, uh, these two capacitors for bias. Uh, the point is like uh, find the maximum value, okay, on 400 gears. You record 400 gears and find the maximum value on the output. When you find maximum value, you reduce a little bit and then it will get to the proper, uh, oh, it's, um, if you know the magnetic uh, characteristics of the tape, so it's not linear and it has two different shoulders. So to get on the proper shoulder with this older design, we always need to find the maximum and then go over it. Uh, because if you go under it, uh, sound will be distorted. That was another point. I was, I spent maybe 10 minutes unless I tuned it. Uh, always test results, what you're recording. And this bias schema uh, affects uh, levels, record levels. Change bias, change levels. Change bias, change levels. Unless you tune up everything smoothly on all frequencies. So, finally, finally this uh, like new deck will be again like new, perform really well. Uh, let's try calibrate uh, TDK main, because on Sony I had to reduce bias and reduce levels. On MA I believe everything will be opposite. Let's check. Okay, levels, you see, we need to add levels to the middle position. Okay, a little bit above the middle and bias here. Okay. So probably I need to check now settings for the bias adjustment. Uh, I can check on the output, so give me a second. One more time, it's, it's been so many times. As soon as you change bias, <laughs> levels change. Okay, 400 gears, minus 20. And we will be measuring the source. Let's be just left, right channel, so make it even. Source, tape, so we have levels. Levels correct. And here you see, I put bias in the middle. And levels of need to add on the left and on the right. I, now, if I switch to 10 kilohertz, you see, bias, under bias. Okay, that's the position for bias source tape. Okay. 
and in this position we should see levels yeah they even good so that calibrator is correct good now let's try record some music so levels let me see levels of one more time change it bias levels change it 400 source uh -huh, now source is lower okay tape levels are too high source tape okay so steep even no and here level seven you see good and by seven and it's at zero at this moment good finally everything verified we can record uh, let me select some Performer So we have levels Source tape even Good Now I'm pretty sure that everything works. I will seal the head position. I didn't seal it yet I want to tune it everything close the front cover and close the deck and that would be it see you in my next adventures bye bye